So I've had to pull the car over because I'm feeling kind of knocked and what I've learned on this journey is it's really important to share how you feel. Um, and the reason why I'm knocked is we're a week out from the Unleash Your Legacy Challenge and there's some big words there, right? Legacy, unleash. And what I'm finding is that people like to put the pants on and dance around, but they don't like to walk in the pants. They like to, they like the idea of sharing your story and making a massive impact, but they like the comfort of their excuses more than they like the reality of what comes with taking that step having that responsibility. And so what I've decided is that I'm not sure where to go with the Unleash Your Legacy Challenge because over the few years that I've run it, I've worked with amazing people, but it still feels like I'm playing small. And I don't have time in creating my legacy to mess around with small time players. I have so much to give and I know that the clients I work with have so much to give as well and they actually push through the discomfort of what they fear and that creates their results and that creates their impact and what I know is that I don't need the challenge to call in those people and so while the challenge has been a vehicle to connect with amazing people I'm not sure that's correct, connecting with the right people that are the vehicle to my big, hairy, audacious goal, which is to empower one million people by 2025 to give up their excuses, take massive action, and create positive change in this world. And so where do I go from here? I don't, I don't know. I'm feeling the desire to take a little break and connect in. I've been dancing with the idea of a new program for a little while now. Um, it's all about frequency. It is all about health. It is all about being the change. Um, and it brings all of me through my business. The personal story formula doesn't. And... I've been getting excited about new places to be, YouTube, when I can be getting out, sharing my message, and doing it really broadly. I've got a book to write, so I don't know what's going to happen from the challenge to the challenge from here, but I'm feeling really grateful for the wake up call, the opportunity to just recenter and, and realign to the vision and see what going forward really looks like so I guess watch this space and if you're in that place where you know you are playing small then just own it you know those excuses excuses pack a punch and I, I know they do I, I used to have all of them I can't afford it bad shit happens to me people can't be trusted all of it you're talking to the person who had all the excuses you're also talking to the person who fucking threw them out, took massive action, took massive risk, took a leap of faith, and so much has changed since then. And the thing is that, that you create that change yourself. You create that change yourself, and it starts with believing something different is possible for you. And when you change that belief, that belief starts working for you and you start to see your world through the lens of that belief instead of the bullshit that you tell yourself every single day that has you playing out this puppet show that does not match the size of your vision and the size of your heart. So if you're open to tips, reach out, have a bunch of them, but don't reach out if you're playing small. I'm done with playing small. I'm done with working with people who want to play small. We're going bigger. I'm going to actually commit and realign to my goals. And if that means letting go of people who I really hoped I could help, then it means letting go of people I, can really, I really hoped I could help. 
to really be able to move forward and claim my legacy. So like I say, watch this space. This is maybe my accountability to chuck my own excuses out. It's time to play big. It's time to go all out, all in. And um, I feel better just for, just for filming this. So thank you for watching.